Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest The Grand Tree. There are no quest requirements, but having the quest completed Tree Known Village will make your life a lot easier. For the set requirements is just 25 agility. There are no item requirements, but for the recommended items are 2 stamina potions of 4 doses should be enough, depending on how much you weigh, so be sure to bring your weight reducing armor for the first 80% of this quest, and then for the last 10-20% to of this quest, you will need to bring along your food, armor and weapon to kill a combat 23 as well as a combat 172. The combat 172 has 2 save spots. But if you want to go to the second save spot and don't want to get hit a 16, which is its max hit, you will need to bring along at least one bind rune. For the teleports, one teleportation method to Yanil. The fastest way would be to go and use the fairy ring code CLS. If you do not have access to those, then the second fastest would be to use the minigame teleport of Nightmare Zone. But if you also do not have access to that teleport, then either a fishing trawler minigame teleport or a Ardoin Cloak Teleport. Then you also need to bring along three teleportation methods to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. The fastest way would be to use your Ring of Wealth to the Grand Exchange and then using the Tree Spirit if you have completed Tree Gnome Village. If you do not, then you'll need to bring along a Necklace of Passage with three charges and 1000 GP. And as always, one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is right here at the quest sign in the Tree Gnome Stronghold, here at the Grand Tree. Let's talk to King Shireen and select option 1 and then 2. What? Oh. And this will trigger a cutscene. You will now go downstairs. Just skip through the dialogue until you need to press number 2. Alright, once we're back upstairs, we will need to go to Yanil. So either use a fairy ring code CLS, which I've written down in my chat box. The second way would be to use the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport. And if you do not have access to either of those, use your RD cloak or the fishing trawler minigame teleport. Once you have reached Yanil, go to the eastern side of it, and there you should find some land going east. Follow this land until you reach a house. Watch out for some level 44 jungle spiders here. After you've crossed the second bridge, go south and there you'll find a house or a hut. Go inside and go upstairs. Next, talk to Hazelmir. Just keep pressing the spacebar until this conversation is over. And after the conversation is over, we will need to return to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. The fastest way would be to use your Grand Exchange Teleport on the Ring of Health, or use any other teleportation methods back to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. A Necklace of Passage is also pretty fast. Alright, here at King Shireen's, let's talk to him and select option 1, then select option 5 twice, none of the above, then select option 2, 1, and then 4. Once the conversation is over, let's go south, and let's go south of the ramp. 
to the ground tree. Just east of it, you will need to climb up the first ladder that you see, just north of the transportation sign. Climb upstairs and talk to the gnome Gluff here inside. Once the conversation is over, let's go back downstairs and return to the king to report. Alright, after this conversation with the king, we will need to go to the top floor. So let's go to the top floor. And here you'll find a very small prison. Let's talk to Ginger Charlie. Next, let's return to Gluff's house. Once you've returned to Gluff's house, in the northwestern corner you'll find a cupboard. Open and search in it, and next, read it and talk to Gluff. This should trigger a small cutscene of you getting captured. Just skip through the dialogue until you get released by the king. Alright, continue talking to Charlie until the conversation is over and this will spawn the king. Go through the conversation with the king and then we'll need to go north to Captain Erdo. Use the glider and let's go to Koramja. Yes, first option. Next, go east. Keep going east until you see the fence, go a bit south to see the gate sign and try to open that gate. Now we'll need to select option 2, 1 and then 2 twice. And then after a small delay we will get inside. Next let's go east. Keep going east until you've reached the docks. Go to the end of the southern dock. Alright, just north of the transportation sign we should find a foreman. Come at 23. Attack him. Kill him for the lumber ore. Once the foreman has been defeated, let's take the Lumber Order and use our second out of three Trinum Stronghold teleports. I will be using a Grand Exchange teleport again. And let's return to the king. By the way, if you have not completed the Trinum Village quest, then you will need to go through the front gate and pay Femi the Gnome 1000 GP. Unless you have helped her the first time you went through the front gate. If you have helped her, then she should do it for free. Alright, let's return to the king and give him the lumber order, but he will not believe you. Next, let's go back to the top floor and talk to Charlie. Next, go back downstairs, because he has told us about Klaus' girlfriend. Go south. And we will now need to go west. Keep going southwest. Exit the Grand Tree area. And then go west-northwest. To the most northwestern part of this area.
Alright, here we'll find four ladders. Climb up the most northwestern one and here you should find Anita. Talk to her and she should give you a key. Once you have this, let's return to Glove's house. The fastest way would be to use your Grand Exchange teleport on your Ring of Wealth and then returning to the Spirit Tree. If you do not have access to this teleport, then you should simply run back to Glove's house. Once you've returned to Glove's house, climb up the ladder and go east. Then you'll find a chest. Use your key on it and you should find some more paper. Next, let's report this paper to the king. Alright, let's talk to him. And he should finally believe you. And he will also give you 4 sticks. Next, it is time to kill the Comet 172 demon. If you are low on food, go upstairs and go to the southwestern corner and here you'll find a bank. Get your food, armor and weapon to kill the Comet 172 and then let's meet up back at the king. You don't need any of this paper by the way, you can simply drop it. As well as the key and all that other stuff, you just need the 4 sticks. Alright, once you're ready to kill the Comet 172, let's go back to the king and let's return to Glove's house. Here at Glove's house, let's climb up and go back to the chest on the eastern part. There we'll find a tree trunk. Click on it, and if you have 25 agility, you will be able to climb it. Next, use the T twig on the most eastern pillar, then the U on the one next to it, then the Z, and then the square on the most eastern one, and this should open up the trapdoor. Once you climb down the trapdoor, the cutscene will start, so be ready to fight the Comet 172. Once the cutscene starts, your camera will be turned westward. To go to the first and the easiest safe spot, after the cutscene is over, you will quickly need to run behind the blue rocks at the bottom of your screen, which equals to south. The second easiest would be to use the pine spell, hopefully it will succeed, it does not and go stand on the other side. And this is also the second save spot. The first one is where Glove is standing right now. Kill the Comet 172 demon. I will see you back in a couple of minutes.
right, this should be done. Yes. Once the demon has been defeated, Glove should be running away. Where is Glove? Yeah, it should be gone. Right, let's continue through this dungeon. Here in the bigger area, keep going north until you see the ladder sign. There you should find the king and some guards. Talk to the king. Alright, after this conversation is over, search every route in this area until you find a blue rock. The location of this blue rock is completely random for every single player, so you could be lucky and you've already found it, or yeah, you're not so lucky. Anywho, doesn't matter, just keep on searching until you find the blue rock. After you found it, you simply need to give it to the king to complete your quest. Alright, yes, finally found it. Let's return to the king to get our reward. And congratulations, you've completed the Grand Tree Quest. You are awarded with 5 quest points, almost 8000 agility experience, 18400 attack experience and 2150 magic experience. Besides the experience, you now also have access to the underground mine. Here underneath the Grand Tree, you'll find almost every single ore. Now you also have the ability to use the Spirit Tree which is inside of the Gnome Stronghold, because he's now better because you've removed the Deconia Rock. And you'll now also have the ability to use the shortcut between the Gnome Stronghold as well as the Ardo's Grotto, which requires 37 agility. And you'll now also have the ability to use the Gnome Glider transportation method, which is the main reason why people complete these quests, in my opinion. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete the Grand Tree quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.